those robot droids you've been wanting ever since you visited that galaxy far, far away are finally here. Meet Robonaut 2, appropriately called R2 for short. In a collaborative effort, NASA and General Motors built twin models of the droid to work alongside humans both in outer space and on the factory floor. The GM droid will likely end up at the company's technology development center where engineers will use it to automate dull, repetitious, or ergonomically difficult tasks, as well as to test software, sensors, and other products that could be used in future cars. NASA's R2 gets the cooler job. The goal here is that there are many tasks that can be more efficiently offloaded to robots, for example, in space. Um, when astronauts perform tasks, there's a lot of setup before the task is actually started and a lot of teardown after the task is done, particularly on space stations, setting up the tools, setting up a variety of equipment. If a robot can perform that task, it allows the crew person to be much more efficient doing the things that only a crew person can do. And R2's dexterous fingers will be able to handle materials too tricky for robotic limbs and cranes used in space missions today. The robots are based on prototypes that NASA and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency started a decade earlier. Engineers upgraded previous versions to increase the Robonaut's dexterity and performance speed. They've also made it super buff for when it decides to turn on its human masters. Just kidding. See? We're buddies. For now. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.